New details in the marathon bombing investigation. American investigators are now in southern Russia. They're talking with the parents of the Sarnayev brothers. The suspect who was killed, Tamerlan Sarnayev, bought gunpowder from a New Hampshire store in February. His uncle says Tamerlan also fell under the influence of a friend known only as Misha. That man is believed to have followed a strict form of Islam. Now, the FBI briefed lawmakers behind closed doors yesterday about what it knows. Also on Tuesday, funerals were held for the youngest victim, eight-year-old Martin Richard and Sean Collier. He, of course, was the MIT police officer gunned down on Thursday night. So we start our coverage with Don Daler in Boston. Don, good morning. Good morning, Nora and Charlie. A memorial service will be held later today for 27-year-old slain MIT police officer Sean Collier. Thousands of police officers from around the country are expected to attend, as well as Vice President Joe Biden. Meanwhile, authorities continue to investigate the two men believed to be at the center of this bomb plot, a plot they say may have stretched back for months. Authorities are trying to determine whether Johar and Tamerlan Zarnayev used gunpowder from fireworks to make the bombs they're accused of planting along the Boston Marathon finish line. Just 10 weeks before the attack, Tamerlan Zarnayev walked into this New Hampshire fireworks store looking for something powerful. I do remember just him asking him, well, first him having the accent and then him asking for the biggest, loudest stuff. And I showed him one other product, but he definitely stressed that he wanted the biggest, loudest stuff. Cashier Megan Kern says Zarnayev spent about 10 minutes in the store before paying in cash for two lock and load mortar kits, each containing 24 pyrotechnic shells. He paid $200 for one box and got the other free under a store promotion. I mean, he wasn't overly friendly. He wasn't rude either, so just pretty normal. Images taken by a Watertown resident appear to show Tamerlan and his younger brother on the night of their violent standoff with police. The picture seemed to capture the two huddled behind an SUV they had allegedly carjacked, firing at officers. Authorities are working to reconstruct the lives of the two men. Investigators have scoured the area in Cambridge where their father apparently used to work on cars. And they've questioned Tamerlan's wife, Catherine Russell. Her attorneys say she's cooperating with the investigation, though she's still shocked by the charges. In the aftermath of this tragedy, she, her daughter, and her family are trying to come to terms with this event. Zarnayev's condition has been raised to fair from serious. There's been a fund established, the One Fund Boston, to aid the victims. It's raised over $20 million so far. Now, authorities say that that money, much of that money, is going to be used for the victims to rehabilitate them as well as to renovate homes and businesses in order to make them more accessible to the 13 victims who lost limbs. 